April is Volunteer Appreciation Month, a time to recognize all that they do for our community. Also, a time to tell those who haven't yet participated how important it is. Steve Petranik, Petranik is here with Hawaii Business, and Daniel Chun is with Alaska Airlines. Thank you guys for joining us, and I apologize, but oh, I'm got, I've no. got it now. In fact, I won't even say your last name again. Okay. I'll just let you do it. <laughs> just Steve. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. And I know that you volunteer for... The uh, Spelling your, Bee. Yeah, the Spelling Bee. You're a judge. Tell me how long you've been doing that and why is it so important for you to be able to participate in something like that. I've done it for six years now. It's, it's so valuable to me because I get to see these kids who have worked hard, they've practiced hard, and they're up there in front of an audience of adults spelling out these difficult words. <laughs> it's hugely uh, important. I've talked to so many people, and they, one of their first public appearances was in a spelling bee. So mm -hmm. volunteering for that is great. And, and Come I Kids is so generous to sponsor the spelling bee year after year. It, it's a, there's so many things volunteers are needed for. Um, I'm just grateful to be able to do it, but we need volunteers for the land, mm -hmm. we need for the ocean to nurture all of our kids, not just our own. So many worthy causes. Patranic. Use it in a sentence. Can I have that in a sentence, please? Um, Daniel, uh, Alaska Airlines has been able to, to fly some of these kids to different places, yeah. and, and they're affording them the, the opportunity to be able to compete. Absolutely. Tell me how important it is for you guys to be able to participate in that as well. Yeah, so as you know, our business is really all about connecting people and places, right, uh, through flight, and we really want to make flying matter. Right? And so whenever we have the opportunity to provide travel for our youth to go to experience some of these events that really support their education, we're all for it. Yeah. Uh, we also know that, uh, you know, they are our next generation of pilots, flight attendants, uh, customer service agents, technicians, maybe even a CEO one day. And mm -hmm. so it is, you know, it's something that we feel very strongly about in terms of supporting education and development of our youth. Okay, I'm going to ask you both a question now. I want to know, we're going to get a little personal here. I want to know what your most chicken skin moment may have been for you. I think it's when you're making a personal connection. I'm, I'm mentoring some kids that are heading off to college for the first time, first in their families to go to college, mm -hmm. and providing some advice and, and, and seeing the wheels turn inside their brains and that they're taking it in and that maybe they'll make better choices because of something I said. That, that's, that really makes me feel good. That's pretty amazing. What about you, Dan? Yeah, you know, I think one of the most rewarding things is um, when you see our youth excited about something, right? Yeah. And so for us, it's, it's, it's super important for us to support as many things as we can, uh, whether it be the spelling bee or robotics or environment uh, or arts and culture, you know, some of these things that really help to inspire um, our youth to be better people and uh, set them up for future success. Yeah, I guess that's really what our chicken skin moment is. I, I want folks to be able to hear the sincerity and kind of the joy that, that you guys have found in volunteering. I, I also want to know from both of you, um, somebody sitting on the fence, somebody mm -hmm. says, I, I just don't have enough time. They're kind of making excuses for themselves. But what would you say to those people that haven't yet pulled that trigger to, to volunteer? You know, um, there are so many rewards you get back. It's smiles, it's seeing the, the, what you have done, the rewards, that's a huge reward. And you know, at the end of the day, you, you, uh, when you're on your on your deathbed, you're thinking, I gave instead of just took in this life. Mm. And that's very important. I, I think so many people recognize that, that, that you have to give, not just take. Dana? Yeah, for me, you know, um, volunteering and giving back to the community has always been about uh, pitching in and doing my part, right? Um, I know life is super busy and filled with family and yep. work and all of that stuff, right? Um, but I always, you know, I, I oftentimes say that um, the, one of the things that can help Hawaii the most, I think, is, is if everybody, just imagine if all, like, million plus of us did at least one thing, right, to give back to the community, to just sort of feed our own passions, um, contribute using our talents and resources, right? I mean, just what kind of power there is there. And so I think, you know, as Steve said, it's, it's super rewarding, right? Um, and it's probably one of the most rewarding things you will ever do. Okay, so you've got somebody off the fence now, and they're gung-ho, they want to do it. Give them, it's one of you, just want, real briefly, give somebody advice on how they can choose a yeah. place to volunteer. It's exactly what Daniel said. Find your passion. Do you love the ocean? Beach cleanups. Do you love education? Uh, volunteer at a school. Love music? Give some free music lessons. Thank Find you, guys. Passion. I appreciate you guys being here. And for all you guys do, because our cake needs some more people like you. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. guys. All right, coming up on uh, Living It Away, Hawaii international singer-songwriter Christian Lay is here in studio. We're going to catch up with her and find out.